Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth. If you just joined us, it's still Enterprise Morning on Enterprise TV. I am Henry Igwebike. Now let's move straight to our newspaper reviews for today. And doing that with me, as usual, is our most honored guest, Barrister Tunji Abdul Hamid. You're welcome to Enterprise Morning today, sir. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be with you. Thanks Good for morning. having you. Thanks for having you always. Now let's move straight to uh, Daily for today. And the first is Nigerian Tribune. And the big story there says, Rivers, no price too high to pay for peace. Fubara. And on the right we have Falana Clark say Abuja resolution on constitutional. No way back for 25 defected lawmakers PDP. And on the downslip of the newspaper, we have no provision for census in 2024 budget Senate. And give Tinibu real feedback from Nigerians. Fire me, tells Gandu J. Barrister, let's, let's, let's talk about this um, story that's been making headline news, of course, for quite some time now. And that is the, the rift between um, Fugbara and Wike. And um, uh, just a couple of days back, there was a truce that, 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 that was uh, set in motion as um, put together by Bola Ahmed Tinibu. And right now, Fubara is saying no price too high to pay for peace in spite of the you know, bottlenecks that people might think that is still on the lining in the resolution. What do you think is the issue there? I, I think he's right. There is no, no, no price that is too much to pay for, for peace. Uh, peace without peace. There can be the, 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 there can be uh, any any development in any state or, or country, so I agree with him to that extent. But you see, uh, he has a right to enter into agreement with anybody he wants to enter agreement into. Okay, that is his own, as, as a person, not as a governor. If you are, that agreement, as far as I'm concerned, I, I see that agreement as a, a personal agreement, not a state agreement. It's not oh. between the different state government and the and the and the Asuaju or the those who are. In charge of wiki is between it's a personal <laughs> arrangement between them do you but, really but think the point, <laughs> but, 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 but the point is that yes can you the question is this can you have a personal argument mm. regarding constitutional matters okay is that the answer for me is no there are some of those agreements that are within the power and the right of a uh, governor fubara mm. to accept if he wants to accept it for instance asking him to 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 still represent a uh, his the, budget. The commissioner that no, that, that okay. the okay. commissioner that have resigned. Okay. Those commissioners that have resigned, they are, they ask him to. That, that's one of the resolution that he, he they want they won't be represented to their house and then they will, it is within his rights. Okay. He, true. The right to true. appoint a commissioner yeah. is within, within his. So he view. can he can personally agree on that and say mm. that that is within his rights. Yeah. Uh, the issue of uh, the divided uh, lawmakers should be allowed to into the party to to return back and then uh, whatever. That is not within his rights. So, so he can't right? enter into a contract uh, to agreement in respect of that. Because that is a constitutional matter. It's about law. Okay. So you cannot say because you have an agreement and then circumvent uh, law. You can, agreement cannot override the provision of the constitution. Particularly, what we're talking about there, we're talking about the constitution, the grand norm of, the, of, of our law. So he, in as much as I agree that he has the right to enter into understanding and agreement, uh, agreement with anybody, he also don't have right to enter into an agreement that has to do with issue of law. So issue of law cannot be negotiated. Issue of law, issue of law, issue of law, issue, issue of law or constitution cannot be a matter of a arrangement between parties. And that's what I see. That's that, that's the where I so if he says if he's paying the price to allow those commissioners that have resigned to come back, that is his own uh, price he wants to pay. If he's allowing uh, if the speaker that stood with him to relinquish his speakership mm. and give it to the new one, mm. that is within his power. But whether or not that the the uh, 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 the the former speaker, whether or not he's still a member of the house, it's a matter of law. So for, and for you to be a speaker, you must be a, a, a member of the house. So the issue of as to whether or not uh, the the people who have relinquished uh, their membership of a party to return back and continue as if not to return back to their party, to return to the house and continue mm. as if nothing has happened. Yeah. 
is not within his power to agree. So that cannot be done by agreement. It's a matter of law. So only the law can determine that. Okay. So in as much as I agree that, look, that agreement are near understanding, okay. near arrangement, it's not binding on the state, it's not binding on uh, those who are not part of it, it's only binding on the governor and those who enter it. As far as it has to do with their personal rights and uh, obligations, it has to do with the issue of state mm. or issue of constitution. That those agreements, uh, those areas will not be, uh, 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 it cannot be enforced. In fact, the state, people for, from the, in the state can even go to court and challenge it. Mm. And say, look, this is not uh, allowed. The, the, for example, the issue of uh, the, the camp uh, 27, the PDP can go to court and say, no, they've the camp and they've lost their tickets. So we, can, we want to fight it. So the fact that an uh, arrangement has been reached between the president and, and, and Governor Fubala will not, will not change that, uh, uh, will not prevent them from going to court. So the issue of, uh, because if you look at those, uh, the issue of, uh, it cannot be impeached. That's a solution to as far as I'm concerned. It's not, it cannot be, yeah, that cannot be reached by agreement. Okay. Yeah, that, that cannot be by agreement. You cannot say, the, there is a provision of the law that says if a governor commits an offense or misconduct, mm. and, uh, by, uh, that seen, and uh, it, it can be impeached if, if there's any uh, to, uh, uh, issue that has been done. So you are not saying, you are not reaching an agreement to say, even, what, what they're saying directly, that even if he commits an, uh, an impeachment of the, of the law now or anything, you cannot say, uh, Impeaching because that's one part of it that understanding that the governor will not be impeached and all the all the impeachment proceedings will be dropped. So you are saying that look, no matter what the governor has done, whether legally or illegally, no, no impeachment. Those are those those are not also within their power to agree. But so, the question is is, is this: you now, lots of people have um, had opportunity of debating this. What constitutional right do you think Tinubu has to to you know to step into a territory that we all know is, is is not for him? Yes, we understand the fact that he is the father of the nation, and it is within his purview to ensure there's peace in our country. But what constitutional right has he to you know step into the state and want to? You know, you know, broker peace, knowing that he's not even part of the party in the first place. Let, let me let we are, we are just treating the issue. Uh, yes, I, I will hope I will come to answer the very mm -hmm. simple simple mm -hmm. answer, but I have to explain first. Okay. You see, even you, even myself, if I had the capacity, I can sit them down and uh, and 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 uh, make them uh, agree on terms. And if, uh, if, if they answer me, if I call them and they will answer me, they can sign an agreement. And they, so, if you, if the president have the right to intervene in any. Any, if I, in family, in domestic affairs, mm. if he wants to interfere, the wife and the husband are fighting. Mm. The president has the right, have, have, have that time to intervene, he can intervene. He can call them together. But that could not, what, what the president should not do, and what, he has, what, what people are complaining of exactly, most of the things they do agree are against the constitution and not in line with the constitution. So the answer that he had, whether or not he has the right to intervene, mm. He had the right to intervene. Okay. He had the right to, like I said, any other person can intervene. Even myself, I have the power. I to have the, to I, every I, extent. I can, I can intervene. If they will listen to me, I can call them and, and, and ask them, and, and ask them to, 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 to settle. So but the, the kind of settlement that I'll be proposing to them must not be contrary to the provision of the law. I must ensure that laws are, are followed. That is the area. So, so because the president is the president of the country. And he uh, is, is also, he will not be happy if there is no peace in any part of the country. True. So what I, what the, the extent to which I expect the president to intervene is just to call them and say, look, these you people should realize that, look, any fight, any issue here may cause uh, 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 insecurity mm -hmm. in your state. Please, let's act in line with the law. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let, let the governor do his job the way he wants to do it. Governor Wiki, mind your own... Uh, Abuja FCT minister, you are, you are, you are the governor, do your writing. If you know you have your own, your, your, your business or anything, it is within your power, do it for him. Uh, these, are the, these, are, these are the kind of intervention I was expecting to do, not to just now start rolling out uh, order or directives. Mm. As to, but like I said, those directives are only between the governor and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not binding on the states. Mm. The governor of Bala is not only him. The governor is representing different states. So whatever agreement he entered into, the one that has to do with personal, because by law, appointing commissioner is within his personal rights. Yeah. The one that has to do with him personally, he can enforce it. The one that has to do with that will affect other people in the state, apart from him, mm. he cannot, he cannot, you cannot enter contract on my behalf. True. You cannot, you cannot enter contract that will, be, that, will be, that will affect me. People who are from the consent of those who defected mm. can say no, we voted for them as PDP members. If, if not, we will not, not have voted for them. 
now they are in APC. We don't want them. We want them out. And the law says this. They, you can't hold them and say, no, but we have an agreement with the president. That cannot, that cannot be. So the, you can enter into an agreement or you can, you can be called by anybody to intervene. And anybody can intervene in any crisis or whatever. But the level of intervention must not go contrary to the provision of the law. Mm. The law must be, must be considered. You must not do it in a way that will flout the law. Mm. So for me, it's simple. The president has the right to intervene. He wants to intervene. But his it's intervention has a limit. He should not go to the extent of uh, dictating or determining who will be the commissioner mm. for the governor. But if they suggest commissioner for the governor and decide to accept it, mm. it is his own case. Okay. It is his wala. He is the one that will be held responsible if anything, if there is no development in the river state. Mm. So if they say, look, these are the commissioners that you must, uh, submit, you must submit to the, to the house. If you accept with them, if you agree with them, because the right, the right to submit, nominate or, or a commissioner is solely on him. He is, is his responsibility. It's not, a, it's not, it's not an issue of uh, anybody other person. So if he says to agree on that, so be it. That is his own wala. If he wants to want people who will not uh, listen to him to be to be his uh, cabinet member, so be it for him. But the state also can say, look, these people that are bringing as commissioner, they will not bring development into our state. Therefore, we are not. Uh, uh, in support of them. But that is if the governor agrees. It's because true. the governor is it's his discretion it's to true. appoint whoever he wants to appoint as a commissioner. He will carry the blame exactly. if, if, if he fails in his, uh, in discharging his responsibilities. For me, there is nothing wrong with the president intervening in any matter. But the intervention must be in line with the, with the, with the, with the, with the what's it called? The, with the law. And he must not uh, uh, give any directive that will be contrary to the law. All right. Well, let's let's move to the the second uh, daily for today, and this is coming from the Punch newspaper. And the big story there says cash crunch. NLC wants FG of mass protest again. A bank's caught withdrawals. And on the right of there, we have CBN fresh disbursement fails to reach banks. Southwest banks source cash from northern branches and Nigerians running out of patience can't bear current pains, Labour tells Tinubu government and the CBN. On the top slip of the same newspaper, we have Rivers PDP, Clark Falls, Tinubu's peace deal, APC Islam's opposition. Domestic borrowing jumps from 134% rises to 52 trillion naira. And um, still on the top slip, on of the same newspaper we have don't depend on villa for feedback fire me advices tinibu and down sleep of the same newspaper we have sawolu opens red line rail fly over projects 500,000 passengers daily uh, uh, babarista we, we have some very interesting uh, headlines on the punch this morning. I love us to quickly, you know, take a look at um, one after another. Now, the big story here says NLC wants FG of mass protest against the bank's court withdrawal. Do you think NLC is now a toothless bulldog? Because it seems to me that all they do is rant with no actions. Do you think NLC is a toothless bulldog? Yeah, if, uh, if you look at the the, 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 the model of Randy in the past uh, years, uh, we want to agree with you that uh, they can only uh, bark mm. and they can bite. They've not been biting. That's why, that's why I see it. They only make, uh, they only ask questions. But yes, it's also part of their duty. Whether or not, you, you see, when we say they can only bark and they cannot uh, bite, mm. it's only when they go on strike okay. that, they, that, they, that, they, that they bite. And one of the responsibilities as, 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 as a labor, you know, is to also for, will put pressure on mm. government. And when they come out like this to say they will do this, they will do that, they, that is part of the pressure on the government. So they are still doing their job in that manner. But so the, the, what most people will want to see is see them call, up, uh, call strike and then will continue with the strike. That's what the, when the people will know that they are acting or they are performing. Uh, the situation in this country you require some uh, level of uh, moderation uh, because uh, when you when you go on strike now the people that will even suffer more are the are the are the are the, are the, are the masses mm. so sometimes they consider that sometimes they look at that but sometimes most times when they have the opportunity to 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 take the government into uh, how do i put it to hold government responsible for what they are not doing 
they bungle it. And people see it as sometimes as a compromise. And then they just use us to collect money from the government and that's all. And they, because when you talk and then they, you promise to go on strike today, the government will not attend to you. They will not answer your request. They will only make promises that have been made said before now. And based on that, those promises, you decide to say, we are no longer uh, going on with our strike. Or we are no longer uh, going on with our protest. Or we are no longer asking the question we are asking again. People will see you as a serious person. And that's what the labor has come into now these days. People, and most times, again, and I was one of those who believed that, look, the day labor venture into having a labor party, Okay. Not the day, no, the, the labor NSCA, you see that they are the owner of the labor party. I, 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 I know so, that. So uh, if you don't know, and the day, the, when they when they formed that party that yeah. day, I said it. We are we only co copy uh, what they do elsewhere. Mm. Those elsewhere they have a, uh, they, they they are not like our own society. So what's the difference? The difference here is that look, no matter what, once you are in the, for example, if you are in PDP, okay, and you are bringing out issue. Genuine issue mm -hmm. against the government of APC. Mm -hmm. They will not look at that genuine issue you are talking about. They will look at where you are coming from. They will say you are an APC member and therefore a PDP and therefore you are just uh, trying to destroy the government. Mm. So, Labour Party, Labour Union, no matter what they do, no matter how good their intention is, mm. people will still read that many of uh, That their, is coming from the Labour Party. That, that's, that's what these days, uh, that's, that's what they will bring. By the time you know it now, when they decide to come and they say, ah, Ajero is working for Labour Party, mm. they want to destroy the country they want to so that's why i say look in our own country we it's not it's not the way it's not like the other those countries where they have those kind of a thing if you want to be a pressure group you don't you don't participate you don't be a political uh, you don't you don't you don't join uh, uh, you don't have a party so you mean the labor union are not qualified to set up no, a no, party no, no is I'm that not, what I'm you not mean? Use that adjective that they're not qualified they are, they are much qualified okay very much qualified to, to be All right. i'm saying our environment here Oh, okay. If you want to be a pressure group, you want to put pressure on government, and you want to ask for accountability, mm. you, and you, are, you, now, you now have a, 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 a political party, mm -hmm. whatever you are saying, people will not consider it as, a, as genuine. genuine. They mm. will see it as a, an opposition uh, talking, which is not supposed to be. But that is our system. That's our situation in this country. And, that, and that's, I said, look, the day they formed that party, I said, this is what they've been using against them. And that's what they've been using. Whenever they want to raise any voice, what they will say, they will say they are working for. A particular uh, party to destroy mm. the, the government. So I, I think uh, and labor too. Those who are in charge too are not helping matter. Today they will, they will say this. Tomorrow they will they will change and then they will, nothing will be achieved. Mm. And that's people are not taking them seriously again. True. They see them as a using that as a need to just make a name and money for themselves. For themselves. Now let's look at this um, a, a top story still on the point that says don't depend. On Villa for feedback, fire me, advice is Tinibu. Now, these people have been in government for so long, and I, I keep asking myself, why is it that suddenly they wake up and realize that um, there is an issue? Why do you think fire me is coming right now to advise that uh, Tinibu should not only take feedback from the Villa, but from Nigerians? Is he just waking up from his slumber? You know, the fact that somebody just uh, made contribution and a valuable contribution to that matter, that, that, that's exactly what I just said now. Mm. That people don't look at, uh, they throw away the, the, the bats, uh, the water. The baby with the, the bat. Baby with the bat uh, you know, that what they they mm. don't look at the message. They look at the messengers. Most times we should not be looking at the messengers. We should look at the message. What was he saying? What was he saying the writing? Mm. So whether he's just waking up now, whether he's waking up tomorrow, whether he wake up uh, next tomorrow or whatever, should not be an issue. The issue is that what he said, is it a genuine uh, concern? Is it an issue that we should look into? Is it, is it, is it right? He is a gov he was, he was really a governor. Yeah, yeah, and he now realized, maybe after leaving the government, he now realized that when you are in government, people around you will not tell you the right thing. So probably he's just realizing that. <laughs> and based on that experience, he's now telling the president, look, I have been the governor, I have been there, even our former. Uh, our president too was a former governor, yeah. and, the, and you see, like, like this, like this, as what he said, most people around the, those in government, they like to do psychopaths. They are very. We have so many psychopaths, uh, psychopaths in the in, in government. They want to read the mind of the gov uh, of the of the president or the person they are serving. Whatever that person is thinking is what they will be telling him. In other words, they will just want to tell him what he wants to hear. Mm. So, and that's what he's saying. That don't just only rely on these people around you. They only want to tell you what you want to hear. They will not tell you what they know, 
will not hear. Because but I, I, also, I also find it funny in a way when they tell me uh, those in government house don't understand what is going on in the society. Does that mean that they are not going out at all? They are not moving around the state? They are not seeing people? Who, they are not looking at issues from different... At the, the, why must they rely only on people around them to get information? They can, they can on their own also uh, make some uh, move to know who are, what, what, are, what exactly is going on in the, in the state. Because like, truly, those around them want to make money from them. For themselves. Want, want to make benefit from them. And they always want to be... And you see, in politics, uh, th what the, 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 those who tell truth to, the, to, 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 to power, mm. or they, don't, they, see, they, don't, they don't blast. They mm. see them as threats. They see them as competitors, that you are, you are competing power with me. So most of them want to mellow and go in line with whatever. Because we are used to that in this, in this society. Once ever you, a government, look at it now, whenever a government brings out policy, and you are bringing out issues from that politics, or things that are supposed to be done that have not been done, mm. or the way they should have done it, or what they should have looked before bringing it out, people will see you as opposition. So if you, a, a president is saying, this is my policy, this is mm. what I want to do, and you are bringing out and say, ah, oh God, this is not working, mm. this is not working, uh, what we are doing, our economy is not is bad, the, they will see you as not being part of the government, they will see you as you are your opposition. <laughs> so they, and some of them now want to play to that role. So that's what, that's what he's saying, look, I don't listen to only people around you. The people around you will not tell you the truth situation on the ground, and I, which I agree with him. The president should look beyond the people around him to lot. get information regarding the current situation or the current position of things in the country. Mm. All right. Lastly, let's let's go to our, our last daily for today, and this is from the Guardian newspaper, and the big story there says, despite 9.56 trillion naira allocation in five years, 774 LGA still on the developed and just on the downslip of the newspaper we have a, a bandits abduct police officer monarch pregnant woman and that it's um, on on page 13 of the guardian newspaper and still we have telcos may lose subscribers as ncc orders total bar of unlinked sms now let's let's go to the big story here we all know as Nigerians, we all know the reasons why there is gross underdevelopment in our local government councils. And some people would say that we need to rejig our constitution because this attitude of giving lots of authority to state governors, all right, to operate local government is the reason why there's so much underdevelopment in our local government councils. How, what steps do you think? As an experienced um, a law lawyer, what steps do you think we can put in place to ensure that our constitution is rejigged to give complete autonomy to our local government areas? Yeah, I, I, do, I want to disagree with that position. Okay. I want to disagree totally. Not, uh, no, not totally, but, um, but majorly I want to disagree with it. The constitution, as far as I'm concerned, is not our problem. It's not a major problem. Yeah, I'm not saying that the constitution does not have an issue. That there is not perfect, mm -hmm. but it's not the it's not the it's not the problem on ground. The, the problem, as you said, is implementation. There is nothing in our constitution that says the governors should take over the role of a, a, a local government. In our law, the section seven of the of the constitution states what are the the roles of local government, and these rules are being taken over by the by, by, by the by the state today, mm -hmm. and nobody is talking. So that is not the constitution. It's about the implementation. Those who enforce the law are the one making it uh, not working. So it, I would not agree that it's our constitution that, that is the problem. Okay. The constitution is our is the enforcement of that constitution, the implementation of that constitution. Those who have been assigned to implement it or enforce it are the one doing the wrong thing. And we, as a citizen, we are not asking questions. We're not taking. We're not. We're not. We're not holding them into account in that detail. Like I said earlier on, the law is clear on the role of the local government. Most of the duty assigned to local government have been taken over by the state. The, there is no way in that constitution that says take it over. Oh, okay. Uh, and and it's been taken over. So why didn't the constitution? Is, what, so so the quick question is why isn't the constitution coming to protect itself? Constitution is not a, it's not a woman, it's not a woman being. I, I, I mean it's, the 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 gatekeepers of the constitution. The why are they not? Why are the gatekeepers? Is it not the same gatekeeper who are supposed to swore to, to defend the constitution that are, that taking it over? The governor swore to defend the constitution and it's taking over the role of the government. Uh, who sued the governor? Who will take action against the governor? The people who are supposed to hold them into account are, are those that are not doing anything. So the only people who can say, look, you are not doing the, you are not following the constitution are the people. 
But the people are not Nigerian. But the people are weak. Because we, are ready, we want to be weak. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. That was an interesting um, discourse, of, of course, and that's just about uh, the much we can take on our newspaper reviews for today. I love, I uh, can't go without saying my big thank you to Pastor Tunji Abdul Hamid for always making our time to be part of our enterprise morning. Thank you, sir, for having you once Thank you more. for having me. It's my pleasure. All right, so please, um, wherever it is you're checking out from, we'll love you too. Please um, follow, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Enterprise TV 7. Press the notification bell so you get notified whenever we drop our contents. It will be Esther coming up very soon. Please don't go anywhere. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.